Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. All right, so let's start going through the right side panels of the library module. We're going to start at the very top of the histogram. Now, to expand one of these panels, you can click the arrow, or you can also use its shortcut. So the right side panels are controlled with with shortcuts Control zero through six. So each one of these are zero through five, actually. Each one of these has a number assigned to it, starting with the histogram, which is zero, quick develop, which is one, keywording two, and so on down the list. The left side panels work the exact same way. It's just control shift and then the number of those panels to expand or shrink them. And we'll cover that again later in the interface shortcuts, but just for right now, I wanted to go over it because we will be using it. So I'm gonna hit control zero to expand my histogram. And let's just talk about the histogram. For those of you that have been shooting quite a while, you'll know exactly what a histogram is. All it is is just a visual representation of the different tones inside of your image. The red, greens, and blues show up as the different colors, so it shows us the tonal range from the shadows all the way up to the highlights, and then the gray is the overall RGB value. This view just kind of gives us a quick idea of an image exposure and where the tones lie in that image. We also have a little bit of EXIF data in the uh, bottom of the histogram window. So we see kind of the most important uh, EXIF data from the camera, which is basically our ISO setting, our focal length, aperture, and shutter speed. So our histogram is there just to kind of give us a quick look at an image as we're scanning through our library module. Now let's hit Control-0 to shrink up the histogram and let's move to the Quick Develop panel. We're not going to spend too much time on the Quick Develop panel just because most of our developing is going to be done in the Develop module. At least that's what I would recommend. And here's the reason why. From the Quick Develop panel we can actually select uh, presets or we can actually dial in different adjustments, but they're not very precise. Well the presets are exactly how they would work in the Develop module. But these adjustments down here are not exactly that precise. You can't dial in numbers or adjust anything. You just have small increments with the left and right arrows, and you have large increments with the left and right double arrows. So basically, it's kind of an imprecise way of quickly adjusting, and usually you need more control than just the basic panel. So we'll go over the basics of this. We'll cover all of these items in detail when we get to the develop module. But let's just start from the top for now and go through the different options. So from the top, we can choose a save preset. And what that's going to do is just apply any one of our presets that we already have just to this image. So we'll say we'll apply a blue filter to this, and you can see that the image is converted to black and white with a blue filter. I'm going to hit Control z or Command-Z on a Mac to undo this. And then we're going to go on to white balance. We can dial in any one of these custom presets or put in a custom white balance and just adjust the temperature tint below and everything like that. Once again, we don't have that much control over it because it is a very imprecise way of adjusting it but it is there. We have underneath that tone control, which gives us auto tone. Auto tone is gonna basically have Lightroom guess what this image should look like. It's gonna work the same way as the auto tone in the develop module. Um, again, most of the time this doesn't come out right, so I typically don't use it. And then we have our other basic process 2012 uh, adjustments here for our exposure, contrast, highlights, and so on. So we're gonna reset all of these just in case we have any settings applied to our image. And uh, that is the quick develop panel over here on the right side. And uh, really, I would only recommend using the quick develop panel in the library mode if you have an external set of keys that are controlling Lightroom, such as RPG keys. The reason being is that those types of systems allow you to have more control over these uh, different controls inside of the library module. Otherwise, you're really better off doing all your developing in the develop module where you're kind of meant to do it anyway. All right, guys, so I'm going to hit Control-1 to shrink up the quick develop module, and let's go on to the next tutorial where we cover keywording.